Hi friends. What is emotional literacy? It basically means the ability to recognize, understand, identify, and express emotions. Today, I want to show you a few ways in which you can help to enhance your child's emotional literacy. And what a great gift to give a child. First off, books are an amazing tool. Books can help to provide the vocabulary for what your child is feeling. It can help them recognize how their feelings might be affecting somebody else. And it can also help them learn how to move on from strong emotions. So many valuable lessons can be learned from a good story. A great way to enhance your book reading experience is to ask a lot of questions. So why do you think Grumpy Bird is so grumpy? What do you think's happening with him that's making him feel that way? And have you ever felt that way? Really have a conversation about it and open up the dialogue about feelings. But the term emotional literacy doesn't mean you're just limited to book reading in order to enhance your child's understanding of how feelings affect us. Here are a few more ideas of how you can enhance your child's emotional literacy at home with some great DIY projects. Research shows that although kids love characters in books and pictures like Llama Llama, Red Pajama, they really respond well to real life people in pictures and books and other things, magazines. So I have a few ideas of things you can do with your child, make a little project, and it can encourage that discussion about how you're feeling or how someone else might be feeling. This can also be paired with a story. So if you identify someone's feelings in a book, you can also match it with the feelings of someone you see in a picture. So lots of expansion can be done from just reading a story. Okay, so to start with, you can make simply a DIY paper bag book of emotions. So all I've done here is put a few holes inside the paper bag and wrapped it with some twine and you've got a book and it's super cute. It has pockets if you wanna add anything to it, like some words to identify feelings. And all you have to do is maybe get some magazines and some pictures and have your kids cut them out. Talk about the emotions that you think that child might be having. Put it on the book, glue it on there, and it's a good reference. So you can say, hey, let's look at your little DIY book today to see how you might be feeling. So that's one idea. Another idea is something that I made here a while ago, and I've just got some pictures of some friends feeling different things, and I've put them onto little wood slices and we've played little matching games with this. You can do so many things. All I did to make this was cut out a picture on computer paper, and I've got some Mod Podge here. You're really just gonna spread that around. You're going to layer a picture on that, and then you can just cover it with another layer of the Mod Podge. And if you don't have Mod Podge, Half glue, half water does the same thing. You just spread it on there and when it's all done, you can have a cool little wood slice like this with all different emotions on it. And kids love looking at these real life pictures. Lastly, I've also made this little emotions flip book. Really super easy to use. So all I've done is I've taken a CD and I've cut out some circles, you fold them in half, and then on each circle, you're just gonna pick an emotion and have your child draw it. They can do stick figure, it can be very basic. Maybe give it a little label on the bottom. And on the front, I just put, today I feel. So I can say, today I'm feeling a little worried. Today I'm feeling a little bit angry. Or maybe today, I'm just a little bit tired, but hopefully by the end of the day, they're feeling happy. So all you have to do is really get these pieces of paper, fold them in half. You're going to glue them together like so. And then you have your own flip book that you can use with different emotions on it. So book reading, cute activities like these, and also role modeling how to um, express emotion and manage emotion 
is a great way to help develop emotional literacy in your child. The more feelings are talked about as kids are younger, are really going to help them express them, manage them, identify them as they get older, really creating a happier and healthier child. What could be better than that? Bye for now.